Hey guys, so today I want to talk about the whole fiasco that happened on Twitter with Sonic Fox and Javier, the Scorpion player. Uh, but just before I get to that, at the point of me recording this, I've just gone into my Mortal Kombat group chat that has some of the uh, top UK players in there. And the, apparently a patch came out to address the desyncing issue. And within five minutes of my friend trying the patch, he says that it desynced for him, so... Well done NRS, you've done it again, or not done it, depending on how you want to look at it. But anyway, let's talk about this Sonic Fox and Javier situation that is going on on Twitter, or was going on. I'm a little bit late to the party, I uh, was a little bit busy but I couldn't get to it. Now, Javier and uh, Sonic Fox had a match, I believe it was a grand finals and the prize was £5,000. And I watched it, and it was, you know, it was quite entertaining to watch, I'm not going to lie, especially for MK1, something that I don't particularly like watching, it was quite good. It started off with Sonic Fox absolutely cooking Javier, it was up 2-0, and Javier ended up winning 3-2. Now, I didn't see any issues with the game, but granted I wasn't the one playing. So even when Sonic Fox was winning, maybe he was feeling some lag, maybe we can give him the benefit of the doubt on that. But what transpired on Twitter, and the subsequent uh, re replies to Sonic Fox's moment, I, find it, I found it a little bit weird. So this is kind of a throwaway video, but I did want to talk about it. So the first tweet that I saw was Javier had tweeted a picture of an emoji sort of looking sideways saying that he wasn't ready for Lopian. Now, the reason he's saying that is because previous to that in the Twitch chat, Sonic Fox said that he's ready for Lopian. When I say Lopian, obviously I'm talking about Scorpion. The reason they're calling him Lopian for anyone that doesn't know is that Scorpion is generally considered to be bottom in this game or like bottom five uh, i don't know if he's considered to be lower than sub-zero but he's definitely down there he's not a character that players that want to win tournaments are picking except for javier and i think there's a couple of other scorpion players here and there i personally don't think the character is terrible uh, i don't actually think anyone's terrible in mortal kombat uh, uh, one uh, in terms of like if how viable they are but he's definitely on the lower end of the roster and he's definitely nowhere near as good as a character like sindel who sonic fox uses so there, there was a couple of responses, right, to this. There was uh, someone called Homie Man, I don't know who this is, I'm not entirely sure if they're in the scene. And he said, you beat Sonic, why not just be humble? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but is Sonic Fox not the greatest Mortal Kombat player that has ever existed? Literally, across any Mortal Kombat game, Sonic Fox is the top of the top, the creme de la creme. Your personal feelings aside against Sonic Fox, and I'll be the first to say that I'm not Sonic Fox's biggest fan. I'll be the first to also say that Sonic Fox is by far and large the best Mortal Kombat, so I'll take that back, he is the best NRS fighting game player that has ever existed. Just on paper, looking at his stats online throughout games that he's played, Sonic Fox just absolutely blows people out of the water, so there's no, there's no denying that, despite how people might feel about him, despite how I might feel about him. So why the hell would anyone be humble when they beat a player of this of this caliber? It's, this is not like Tekken or Street Fighter where there's a couple big names and there's kind of a who's who of who is the best. Like in Tekken, there's been a debate between Arslan Ash and Nii. I think more recently people lean towards Arslan Ash, but there's a massive pool of players where you could say, do you know what? This player could take it. That's not the case in Mortal Kombat 1, as far as I've seen. Sonic Fox is the undisputed champion. So why the hell would I be humble if I just beat the Brock Lesnar of the Mortal Kombat world. Why should I be? Javier, what he said on Twitter was very, very tame as far as I could see. Sonic Fox then responded by saying, respectfully Javier, 270 ping Scorpion doing teleports and full screen unreactable combo stars isn't me playing against Scorpion, it's me playing verse online and was incredibly unfun to deal with, which isn't your fault and not in any way indicative of how I would play versus you. So he's referring to playing offline. Now, I kind of think this is a bit of a ridiculous tweet, considering Sonic Fox's team is Sindel Lau, and in the best of ping, at the best of times, dealing with that team is a nightmare. Trying to figure out where you're going to block is a night nightmare. Now granted, if you are playing in lag, I can understand why that would get annoying, but you were up 2-0, and you were about to take it, and I doubt there would have been any mention about ping if you had taken it, and then Javier turned it around. So if you're both playing in lag, you're both playing in bad ping, and you're using the superior team, the team that is harder to block, with the superior player, why is this even a talking point? Javier's bragging is completely valid. 100% valid. He should brag some more. You don't have grounds to complain about the ping. 
then you definitely don't have grounds to complain about the character. Your character is absurd if you compare, compare them to Scorpion. And then Sonic Fox said I would just calm down with the prop fishing considering I outplaced you at the event and the two players that killed you I smoked because if you really think I'm no, not ready for Lopian, then let's money match. Which is fair. Sonic Fox lost the £5,000 final to uh, Javier. So challenging him to a money match to basically prove that I would do better offline. I think it's fine. You know, there's, there's absolutely no problem with that. Uh, I, I do think that uh, if they play offline following this, Sonic Fox will probably win because Sonic Fox is such a good player that even if this is cope and even if he just can't take the L, I think he'll go back and he'll watch the match back and he'll pick up on what went wrong and Javier will probably lose. Not to mention Javier's team is completely outmatched by Sonic's team, just on paper. But I don't think this is a valid thing to bring up, uh, the, the whole ping thing. I think that's, that's kind of ridiculous. I think Javier is well within his right to take the piss a little bit out of the world's greatest player. Javier then responded saying, I would love to play you, versus off, uh, play you offline, come here to Spain. So, which is the correct response because Javier won the match. There's no incentive for Javier to go to America to play Sonic Fox. If Sonic Fox wants the, wants the heat, he's got to book a uh, plane ticket to Barcelona or wherever Javier's from and get this shit popping. Now, I would probably put my money on Sonic Fox, uh, Sonic Fox, I'm not going to lie. I would be rooting against him if I wasn't putting money on uh, on Sonic Fox, but I wouldn't really bet against Sonic Fox on a Mortal Kombat game. That seems like a stupid bet. So if this does happen, I reckon Javier's probably going to lose. But on this day, Javier was the better player and it was actually a really impressive comeback to go down 2-0 against a player of, of the calibers of uh, Sonic Fox and then do that. That is insane. Not to mention using a crappy character by Mortal Kombat 1 standards. Then this homie man comes back again saying, oh, he won against Sonic Fox. Now his head is super huge, as it should be. And the bandwagon of destroyed players have been praying and hoping for this day. Nerds. I mean, I don't, I don't pray for Sonic Fox's downfall. I... As a, as a player, I wish Sonic Fox the best. I don't particularly like Sonic Fox. I don't really fuck with like, who he is as a person, uh, just because of some of the shit I've seen online, uh, dating back to the Skull Girls days. But as a player, I don't want Sonic Fox to particularly like perish or, or be destroyed or whatever. I don't, couldn't really care less, to be honest. I'm think, I think Sonic Fox is uh, important to the scene as a player because he's so good at the game that everybody stands to get better by chasing him so i don't think anybody should hope for his downfall unless he's done something like egregious and people are against him for that then yeah i i, I wish sonic fox well and then someone said humble yourself we know you a goat but it's a video game not the nba or nfl many are right there behind you grinding and are just as good as at pushing buttons and doing combos don't get wrote off as a salty bozo in the end better win the next one now i think He's referring to Sonic Fox being salty that Javier basically handed his ass to him, which I think is a fair assessment. I think Sonic Fox dropped the ball. I think maybe Sonic Fox forgot that there was other good players out there. Sonic Fox, don't forget, was like 145 wins in before being defeated on MK1. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if, if Sonic Fox has, been, has lost on ranked to anybody. And when you win those many matches against people, it's normal for you to become complacent and drop the ball. Now, this was in a tournament, so it's a bit, you know, unexpected, uh, especially in Sonic Fox's case, where he just seems to be outplacing everyone and outpacing them. But it happens, you know, it's, it's, it's not the end of the world. Sonic Fox should have taken it like a man and, and kept it moving. Pond Scum said, bro, you both played in that lag. It's not like it only affected you. For you to be this sort of sad, and you were using Sindel Lao against Scorpion. You're being a crybaby about it. And you knew beforehand that you'd be going against international players. Now, that's true. That is, I couldn't agree with that tweet more. And someone went on to say, okay, Sindel Lau. Then someone else said, cry some more. Playing Sindel Lau, but Scorpion lag was too much for you. All valid responses. Blocking Sindel on the best of days is a nightmare. Is an absolute nightmare. But then this dick rider came back, homie man, saying, Sonic, just let him have it in his mind that he played well. He did play well, even if there was lag, to beat Sonic Fox three times in a row is no easy feat. And with amazing skill against you, I mean, you are the best player in the world. You have nations of defeated bodies under you. God, good lord, dude, you talk about glazing. Beat Alpha, just let them have it in their own mind. You know who you are. Uh, now, I'm going to get on to the dick riding that I saw on Twitter in a little bit, because I, I've, honestly, I don't really understand it. I'm, I'm a little bit per, like perplexed. So I, honestly, I get perplexed when I see it, and I've seen this happening in... The FGC for a while now. I've been in the FGC for over 10 years and 
it's 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 really something. I mean, how how long has it been? It's been fifteen years, I think. And the amount of dick riding I see from players and people watching their favorite players is ridiculous to me. I don't know why people are like prop them up like they're gods. It's a fucking game. I mean, even if they were in the NBA, I wouldn't be dick riding them. Like, who? What is this? I mean, I watch the UFC and I watch boxing quite regularly, and there's nobody in there that I'm gonna ride for. Like, you lose, you lose. It is what it is. You know, it's not the end of the world. Javier says, why are you mad about this? I just beat you. I know you are a better player than me. That's just a joke. I don't know why you talk about unreactable teleport when you were playing Sindel Lao. Again, I don't take any credit for beating you in this ping. You won't ever see me t talking about this game. Which I think is a, is a fair response. But if you're wondering why people keep bringing up Sindel Lao, it's because they are a massively superior team to the team that Javier was playing. There's no cameo that can make Scorpion compete at the level that Sindel Lao does. There just isn't. And then Sonic Fox says, I would love to know what move gives me a full screen unreactable combo. Start a fuck neutral move with Sindel. Sign me up for that. Your justification is I had to play in 270 ping 2 when your character literally shoots up to S plus because of lag. Now, I know Sonic Fox is the best player, but this is this can't be a serious take. He has to be joking when he says this. Up to S plus. What kind of... You know when Sindel's flying, uh, floating above you and then she, you've got Lau's hat there as well. In lag, that shit's horrible. It's absolutely horrible to deal with. Even without lag, it's horrible to deal with. So I don't know what the fuck Sonic Fox is talking about here. This makes no sense whatsoever. Imagine having to deal with that bullshit in lag with a player of Sonic Fox's caliber. Let alone a, like a, any any day person just dealing with that, that pressure situation. Not to mention... Sindel basically has a fuck neutral tool. She has that move where she turns her back to you, her hair starts poking you, as far as I can see, completely safe. And if one of them even clip you, she screams in your face, you get hit with a full combo that ends in a mix up. It or ends in pressure. So I don't know what Sonic Fox is talking about here. If I had to say, this is what talking out of your ass looks like. Like just take the L. Then he said, essentially, you make me literally have to stop moving and guess what I think you are instead of doing it on reaction. I am only annoyed because I see you prop fishing about the win under the guise of joking when I can literally see your replies to other people. What's wrong if he brags a little bit to people? He just beat the world's greatest player. I don't understand what the issue is. If I was the world's greatest player on Mortal Kombat and someone beat me, I would expect them to go online and talk that shit because that's what my, my name carries weight. Beating me means something. Why would Javier not talk shit? And then on top of that, not only did he beat you, not only did he, did he reverse 3-0 you or whatever they call it, my man did it with Scorpion, who is basically considered the worst character in the game next to Sub-Zero. I don't know, I don't know what the issue is. Now, I went through the tweets on the threads. The abundance of dick riders is honestly alarming. I don't get what you guys get from... No, this is not just a Sonic Fox thing, this is just in general. We're all just people, right? We're all people. My life don't matter any more than Sonic Fox's, and Sonic Fox is no more important, or their life is no more important than, than any of ours, right? Sonic Fox loses a match, they're gonna be okay. You don't have to go and glaze them. He's gonna be alright. Sonic Fox is, you know, he's mate. He's one of those fighting game players that has bank. He lost a match, he lost £5,000, it's not the end of the world. Nobody's even calling in to question Sonic Fox's credibility. Like I said, Personal gripes of Sonic Fox aside, I recognize Sonic Fox as the greatest NRS player. Hell, just one of the greatest fighting game players that has ever lived. He's been so consistent on Mortal Kombat that it would be unfair to deny him that title. But that doesn't mean that he could just go on Twitter and start talking this nonsense. We all watched the match, and if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. Javier played incredible. It was honestly really, really good. Now, I didn't see, I didn't see Sonic Fox complaining when he was up to, no. I didn't even see Sonic Fox bring it up. I didn't see nothing. But because he was taken off guard by a character that he said he was ready for, a character that is low tier, because he was shown up in front of his fans, he acts like a baby on Twitter. So the point of this video really is to just say don't glaze your favorite streamer, your favorite YouTuber, your favorite fighting game player. Everybody loses. It doesn't make Sonic Fox any less of a player and Sonic Fox ain't gonna pay your bills. And don't worry, you're not gonna get blocked if you say, yo, you lost, hold that shit. You know, you start inflating people's egos and, and talking to them like they can do no wrong. No one can beat you. And any time they beat you, it's fake and it's false. Do you know how many times I've heard this nonsense in games? It's honestly laughable. I don't know how some of you like look in the mirror, honestly. But other than that, that's all I really want to say on that. 
Uh, we will be talking about some other Mortal Kombat related stuff. I'm going to get all the hate out of me before Tekken 8 comes out, you know, because I'm going to be focusing on that. I've just seen Sikanda put up a video, which I'm going to be covering because I find it quite hilarious. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That will probably go up tomorrow. And uh, someone requested that I speak about why I actually dislike the Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay. Forget about the story mode, forget about invasions, forget about online and how it works. Just the raw gameplay. What are my problems with it? So that will be on the channel at some point. If there's anything that you guys want me to talk about, if there's anything you guys want me to cover and hear my opinion, I read the comments. Uh, you can hit me up on Instagram. My IG handle is on this video. You would have seen it. But other than that, guys, take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. Stop playing Mortal Kombat 1 and start playing Tekken 8.